So, the very first step in order to create a new panel of the Warmworld Saga online graphic novel is to create a grayscale preliminary version of the panel. And um, before we can do that, we have to decide uh, how our panel is going to look. And for this demonstration, um, since I'm not um, ready to create an actual panel of the second chapter and all the panels for the first chapter are already done, like you know, um, what, I, what I'm going to do is to create um, a panel that story-wise will fit exactly between the first and the second chapter. So the first chapter ends, uh, like you know, with Jonas um, sitting on the attic, just um, having opened um, his treasure chest and holding his wooden sword um, into the light of his flashlight. And the second chapter, and that I can um, tell you without spoiling anything, the, th the second chapter will, will start with Jonas waking up in the morning the next day. So I figured that for this demonstration it would be nice to create uh, an exclusive panel artwork that fits right in between that. And my idea for that would be to show Jonas, who has returned from the attic and who puts his wooden th sword um, under his pillow in order to um, have his uh, magic weapon in reach if if uh, monsters should emerge from the dark while he's sleeping. And um, um, as a reference I have opened um, the panel number 62 of the first chapter which shows the empty bed. We know that in the background, in the off of the screen, Jonas is, um, is moving um, the cupboard in order to, to open the hatch in his wall. And um, well, the chapter that I'm uh, I, I'm I'm going to create will show Jonas sitting in bed, putting his wooden sword uh, under the pillow, and Wiggins will also be there. Wiggins is sleeping um, at Jonas's feet, and uh, I think Jonas will 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 s say something to him just in order to have some um, some words and 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 word balloons in this panel too so that I can also demonstrate how I'm layouting the word balloons. But now we are going to make the grayscale preliminary version. I'm putting these artworks here um, away. I will keep this one and, uh, and this one here um, off the recording area as a reference while I'm painting the preliminary version of the new panel. So, um, normally um, we can have a quick look at um, the brushes that I'm using uh, um, for my work. Um, it is a very small set of brushes. Um, I prefer to keep it very simple um, when I'm painting because if you're if you're fiddling uh, around with with too much brushes and too much um, 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 brush attributes, um, you me, I personally tend to um, t to um, lose track of of the, the the painting process. So I'm trying to keep my tool set very simple. Basically, I have um, I have three brushes that I'm using. Um, the first brush is a very big brush, kind of bristly. It is a classic Photoshop brush, not uh, one of the new bristle brushes. I, I'm going to use classic Photoshop brushes for this demonstration. Um, and this is the biggest brush I use to block in the, the, the big shapes. And um, my next brush is a smaller um, brush with, with a bristle look that's for the medium shapes. And for the very small shapes I have this little diamond shaped brush uh, with which I I'm able to create the smallest detail. Um, okay, but um, we are going to 
we are going to start with the with the big brush. Um, I'm working in the original resolution for the preliminary version. That means um, this um, this uh, um, canvas here has the the size of the panel um, that appears in the online version. Um, I'm going to make a a big panel like uh, like this one. Um, it's a four by three image ratio, and um, it is uh, six forty um, by four eighty uh, pixels, and that's a good size. It's a small size for digital painting, but it's a good size for preliminary work because uh, at a small scale like that, you do not tend to get into too much detail. That isn't needed at all for the preliminary version. Um, okay. Uh, enough talk, you uh, surely want to see something happen on the canvas here, so we are going to get into it right now. So, um, the reason why I'm doing a grayscale preliminary version is because um, the aspect of light and contrast is very important um, to the Warm World Saga, to the whole look of the Warm World Saga. So what I'm trying to uh, to do in the in this preliminary ver preliminary version, what a word, um, is I want to depict the um, the effect of light and the major uh, contrasts uh, in the scene in order to in in order to plan that. And I'm keeping color out of this um, because with color um, it would become much more complicated to do that. Um, oops and what i'm trying to do is to keep it to keep every stage of the of the process quite simple so what i'm doing here now is i'm basically setting up the li um the the different um light spots that we will have um if you ha have a look on on this uh, i'm keeping this out of the of the recording region um but i'm constantly looking uh, on it um the scene that I'm painting now is um, quite the, s the same than this scene. So we have a have um, the light source here at the side. It, this is the the lamp, and which uh, will be the brightest spot in the whole uh, image. And we have uh, the small uh, I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's a Nachtschränkchen in German. <laughs> oh, that's great and. Every time I, I I don't know uh, how to call it uh, in English, I I will just use the German word. So uh, that way you <laughs> you won't only uh, learn something about digital painting in this uh, video, but also about the crazy German language. So um, what you also will notice is that um, the more I'm painting, uh, the more I will stutter um, because. Um, at least that's uh, that's my experience. Um, when I'm painting, my well, the part of my brain that is um, that runs uh, the speaking, <laughs> so to say, um, gets out of out of control. It's it gets blocked up. It my my brain isn't really uh, capable of of painting and speaking the same time so please bear with me and um, if I'm starting to to uh, tell stupid things just look at at the screen and, and look that at least I'm painting something when I'm uh, when my speech gets out of control so what I'm trying to do here is uh, to find um, to find the places where the light hits um, if you have a look at at this image, you will see that um, the cover sheet of the bed is basically divided into two materials. It's this overcoat here. This uh, I don't know. It's Tagesdecke in German. So this thing is called Tagesdecke, um, and it's um, and beneath the Tagesdecke is this white uh, cover sheet that is folded uh, around the corner here. So we have um, basically. Um regardless of the of the light situation, we will always have this divide into lighter and dark uh, in in this area so what i'm that's exactly what I'm doing here. I have the 
uh, dark Tagesdecke and um, the lighter uh, white cover sheet that's wrapped around it here. And this um, um, will be that there will this contrast will exist here regardless of the light situation. So I'm using uh, I'm using that right now. So um, what I also try to do is to to show that um, the lightest point uh, resides here at the uh, at the lamp. I will uh, kick it to to bright white and um, like you um, as you see it's it's not too important for me to get the shapes right um, in these first steps I'm just um, I'm just planning the 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 overall contrast and just do the most basic um, um, shape decisions here and this will be I will do um, I will work on the shapes uh, a bit later and what's important for me is to get the uh, to get everything into the panel that I'm that I'm needing, and um, I'm now switched to a to the next smaller brush because I want to put Jonas into into this. Um, he has it, his pillow, which is which is here, I would say, and the pillow will be quite white, as white as the sheet. So. Um, that's another good, good, uh, another good example how this whole grayscale preliminary version uh, building works. Um, I'm basically what I'm trying to do is to find uh, correlations between the between the values here. Um, we get the the darkest value, the, the black, the pitch black. We get into areas where no light shines to, and um, this is, for example, if you have a shadow like. Um, beneath this uh, the pillow or uh, behind this uh, bed cop tile um, and um, of course in in areas where the light uh, wears off from the lamp and and then we have um, the lightest uh, spot in the whole composition which will be the lamp and then we have the um, quite bright spots that are white surfaces like the cover sheet and the pillow sheet and what I'm trying to do is to um, to make sure that if light hits here and uh, creates this value, this uh, special value at this point, um, the same value uh, will be um, created on the pillow here because it's the same surface, it's approximately the same angle to the light source and um, that's the reason why I painted the same value. Um, you can uh, see that we have a divide here between this part of the sheet and this part of the sheet. This here is darker because it is turned away from the light source and so I'm painting it in a darker value. The same thing is true for the pillow. Um, this part here of the pillow is pointing away from the light source and therefore I'm, I'm painting it in a slightly um, darker value. And again I'm trying to make these two values um, quite the same because um, they are the same material, the same brightness and under the same light conditions they will look the same. So um, I don't have the figure yet. Um, the most interesting question for me will be um, what value will, will Jonas be? Um, I'm normally I'm trying to test this out. That's the reason why I'm doing the preliminary version. I'm I'm trying to test the values. What I what I've done now is I have um, Jonas's face is the same value as the pillow. Um, this um, might be the right choice. Um, I might as well um, find out that I have to make him darker in order to make it work. And. Um, and now his pajamas which are a red and and this is another interesting point uh, by the way um, I don't have the colors yet and I have to decide what um, what value this color is going to be and he has a red um, he has a red pajama 
uh, he wears a, r a red pyjama but um, this is if you convert this to values and uh, this will uh, make for a very dark value and here he is here is his hand which is the same value as his, fa his face and he's putting the sword uh, behind the pillow now okay um, and, and this is the this is the point where I see um, where I will see if every element that I want to fit into the composition will uh, will work out. And what I see is that this this is not a very good angle to show um, Jonas putting the sword b uh, under his pillow. So I'm making a notice to myself in which I say, Daniel, uh, you have to work out the composition in order to um, to show the um, the exact scene you want to uh, depict um, but this will be done in the next in the next step um, in the uh, the drawing and I'm just um, trying to create um, the aspects of the scene that are important for the lighting uh, now and I will keep track of of the, the the exact layout of the scene in the in the next step um, the same goes with um, the cat I'm I said in the introduction that um, I want to have the cat sleeping in the bed with Jonas. Jonas is talking to the cat, saying something like, Hey, Wiggins, don't be afraid of the monsters. Um, we have my sword under the pillow, and if they come, we I will just fight them off. You know, I'm a hero. And Wiggins will say something like, Meow, <laughs> or something like that. Perhaps, perhaps he's just purring a bit. Purr, purr. Um, I don't know. That's a decision that's that's made at uh, another point. But what I see in uh, in my preliminary version here is that I will have to um, to 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 move the camera a bit more far out. So um, that's I that's exactly um, uh, in in fact it, that's uh, something I I would do right now. Um, if I come to the point where I see I can't fit every everything I imagine for the panel into the panel, I um, would just take the panel and and perhaps scale it a bit like that, and then um, I would do some fixing here where we have the overlap, and yeah, that works works quite well. And again, it's in the preliminary version. It's not about uh, making the mm, the the detail perfect. That that's not the point. For me, it's the point. Um, um, the main point of the preliminary version is to to get a initial feel of the scene, to get a feel um, where the light uh, where the light will hit, and and that's basically the the reason why I'm doing these. Um, I'm I'm painting along here a bit um, and um, what I can uh, tell you is that I'm creating the Warm World Saga entirely in these um, grayscale preliminary versions first. So, so this is really um, the first step um, I'm taking at every panel and the whole story uh, in fact, will be painted as a preliminary version first, so um, completely with text, so that you can read the um, a, a complete chapter in this grayscale version. And it normally, um, okay, speech aw speech is going away because I'm painting a face. That's uh, that's that's typical. Um, if I'm starting to paint faces. Uh, my brain just says, no way, talking to people and painting a face, you're a crazy man. You're not going to do that. So y either you stop talking or you stop painting. And because I can't stop uh, painting, I um, now have to wait uh, until the face is ready and I'm doing some more trivial stuff so that I can say something meaningful again. So um, where was I? Yeah, so I'm painting the whole... Um, 
a whole chapter in this grayscale version, in this preliminary version. And if that um, works, if the story works, if I can see everything in, in this version, then um, I will go into it and make a drawing and create um, and, and, and color and paint everything um, like you will see in the next step. Um, and I would say yeah, a, a bit of light is going to Wiggins here. Yeah, I'm painting a cat, painting a cat and speaking hard. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now Wiggins, um, the cat is 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 in fact a uh, um, a tricky thing uh, because he has um, he has this Feldzeichnung. Uh, uh, it's called in German. He has this pattern uh, in in his fur. And um, yeah, and this disintegrates the figure uh, quite a bit. It's it's meant to do that. It's it's meant to be a camouflage so that if he um, if he um, hunts for prey in the wilderness, <laughs> as if Wiggins would go <laughs> into the wilderness, um, he's a coward. Um, okay, but um, that makes it uh, in fact a bit tricky to paint him because um, all these um this blotches of of values on his fur um making making a bit a, um a, a bit difficult to read uh, in the picture and that's exactly what camouflage is is is, is all about it's uh, it's about making your silhouette um difficult to read to your prey or to to other uh predators and that's not good for uh, for for a scene like that because you want to s you want to um, you want every character of a scene read uh, nicely and um, if I w I would have done me a favor if I had decided that Wiggins would um, would be a um, a solid colored uh, cat like a white cat or a black cat even even a black cat would be easier um than these uh, spotted cat but um wiggins you have to know is is the true is a true character he's real he's in fact he's um he's uh, sleeping uh, just uh, um just beside uh, beside me now in in his chair and he likes it to to um to sleep in the chair in his chair when I'm when I'm s sitting and painting the the graphic novel, um, he really enjoys that, and I just wanted to paint him uh, exactly the way that that he looks. So, I would say that this preliminary version is about finished uh, in a way how I would do it in the actual graphic novel. So, um, as you can see. Um, this is this is um, nearly 20 minutes of painting now, um, and that's the time I would invest into a preliminary version uh, of a panel of of the Warmer Saga online graphic novel, and and now I would be able to um, uh, to go to the next step. I just have found another. I just have found a mistake that I made because um the sheet of the mattress is also white as we can see in in this uh, in this um panel here from chapter 1 so it has to have the same brightness as the sheet of the cover and the sheet of the of the pillow and um that's good because Jonas Jonas's arm will cast a shadow onto this white sheet and that will help to make the whole scene more readable um, visually readable that is so this is our preliminary version of the panel that I'm going to um, uh, bring into the next step in the next video uh, which will be the, um, the drawing and I hope uh, to see you again there <laughs>